Hey guys, it's Crystal Hemphill with Journey Into It and Beyond, and today we're going to be talking about another gift, clairsentience. So what is clairsentience? It is your ability to feel, to sense energy, even the subtle energies that others don't really pick up on. Clear sentient people, they have the ability to feel beyond just this physical realm. They kind of pick up on the energy of what's below the surface or what's hidden. It's kind of like energy speaks to them in a certain way and it transmits information in a way that they can understand it. So it simply means clear feeling. Clear sentient people can tend to be very, very sensitive to energy. So much so that even walking into a room full of people can be quite overwhelming sometimes. So let's talk about some of the signs that you might notice if you have the gift of clairsentience. Number one, you walk into that room and automatically you feel the energy shift. And I mean, you went from very open hearted, very light feeling to very heavy and closed off. What is happening is that you are feeling other people's energy. And let's be honest, not everybody is in the greatest mood or in a good experience at this moment. This can really make life quite hard sometimes. And I know me personally, when I was younger, I had the hardest time getting a grasp on what in the world this was, why it was happening, what was happening. If you find this is overwhelming to you, I really want to go ahead and give you a little tip that will certainly help. Before you even leave your house, put up your personal energy shield. Now, I know this might sound so silly, but I promise you, it will help. Um, it only takes a few minutes to do. So the only thing you have to do is just close your eyes visualize a white light kind of coming out of your heart space allow that white light to surround your physical body kind of like it's putting you in this bubble in a in a protective bubble your own personal space and once you have that visualized to where the white light is surrounding your body go ahead and push that white light out a few feet okay very easy very easy and make that intention while you're doing that this is my shield this is my protection. This is my personal bubble, okay? I wanna go ahead and say for some clairsentient people, you will take on other people's crap, their feelings. So if at times you have found yourself saying, I don't know why I feel this way, I just feel it and I don't know what to do with it. Why am I feeling this way? Then it may not even be your feelings. You may even have random outbursts, outbursts of fear taking over or anger or sadness, be crying, and you don't know how to cope with that. You have felt the energy of something or someone and carried it along with you. It's one of those things that can definitely affect your mood and emotions. So pay close attention to times like these. Once you begin to understand that, huh, hey, this isn't mine, this isn't my crap, you'll begin to release that very, very easily. It's all about noticing it. This isn't my anger. This, this, this isn't my sadness. Let me, let me send that back. Or let me heal that. Let me send it with light and love. Another sign, you have a very strong gut feeling about people, places, or things. This feeling cannot be ignored. It can sway from a very dense, very thickening type feeling in your gut to a very light or uplifting feeling. This is your gift guiding you. So definitely pay attention to that. Take note of those. It could be a little warning. Hey, you have this very dense, very sick feeling in your stomach for something, right? Another one, people may say that you are too sensitive. This can range from being sensitive to noises, like being startled by them, <laughs> to crying over sad movies, or crying over just about anything, really. Even when you watch movies, you can feel what the characters are feeling, especially if it's a really great actor or actress, and they've really stepped into their role. Um, you can definitely pick up on that feeling and feel that very intensely. Um, also, just seeing someone else cry could trigger you to cry because you are feeling that energy. 
So you may release a lot of feelings by crying and that is completely okay. There is nothing wrong with it. Cry it out. Um, it's another way of cleansing your spirit. I know I used to cry about everything and I mean everything, okay? Another sign you might be clairsentient, you can feel other people's pain. And I mean on a physical level, not just emotional. Um, let me give you an example of how subtle this can be and how huge this can be. So subtleties. Let's say that I'm doing a tarot reading and all of a sudden my left arm starts to ache or it gets like a pulsating feel in it. Now it's nothing major. It's not like, oh, uh, <laughs> but I noticed it. And I noticed it because along my years, I have really trained myself to pay attention to everything, even if it's tiny, okay? So I know that it's not my ache that's going on. So I might ask the client, are you having pain in your arm? And maybe she'll go on to say, yeah, I, I had surgery a while back. It still bothers me. It prevents me from doing the work I want to do. And that's exactly what I wanted to have a tarot reading about. Aha, there it is. Very subtle, but yet it made sense. Um, a more extreme example. Let's see. So if I am watching a movie where they are, it makes me cringe just to think about it. If I'm watching a movie to where they are torturing somebody, especially like pulling teeth, oh boy, I can feel that. I feel that pain, okay? So that that's a range from it can be very small to very huge. Um, another great sign that you are clairsentient, you sense spirit. Spirit being a pure form of energy, you can feel their presence. Now, this may feel like um, walking into a supposed haunted house and feeling the eeriness or feeling the strange, um, uh, just that overall strange sensation. Uh, you may get the, the signs, the cold chills and such, um, or even a home where someone has passed away. You may feel that energy shift you may sense that that energy, that spirit is still there. You may even feel the presence of your loved ones. So cold chills, gut feelings, sudden energy shifts, or just having the feeling that you are not alone are all signs to look out for. You may even be able to get information from spirit and might do mediumship work. All right, so let's talk about some tips to strengthen this gift because you guys know like any muscle, you got to practice with it. You got to push it. You got to test it out. You got to grow it. You got to strengthen it. So the first thing I really want to say is pay more attention. I used to have a very bad habit of just shrugging things off, the little things, the subtle things. Um, if you sent something, then definitely try your best to tune into that. Bring your awareness to it. No matter how small or insignificant you might think it is, notice it. Feel its texture. How does this make you feel? Does this make you feel light? Does this make you feel very heavy? Does this have a dense feeling to it? Uh, notice its substance. What does that feeling feel like? The more you pay attention to the smaller things, the more you'll expand this gift. Another really good way to exercise this gift is to feel into an object. See if you can sense the energy of its past because energy transfers to things that we own. Um, so just see what you pick up on. Maybe you uh, can collaborate with a friend and say, hey, um, just, just you know, give me a random, uh, a random thing to hold. Let me see what sort of energy I pick up on it. Uh, you may even, um, you know, go as far as your other Claire's kicking in and uh, hearing things, sensing things, being able to visually see certain things. And then you'll also have the Claire sentience working with you, having that feeling towards what does this feel like? A really helpful thing to do, too, is to do some chakra work. Um, balancing and aligning those energy centers so energy can flow 
Um, it's really great, really great to work on the heart chakra for clairsentience. It's kind of like saying, open that baby up and feel, you gotta feel. Um, so definitely tune in more into just the subtleties, the feelings of things and seeing what that makes you feel, okay? I hope this video helps you guys. If you liked it, if you have some tips of your own, um, make sure that you go ahead and drop those down in the comments. I would love to read those, things that you have noticed along your journey um, to make you see, hey, I have that gift. I'm clairsentient. Um, let me know your tips. Let me know what you've noticed about yourself. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, share it if you'd like, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much.